Hi, Marcos. Hi, Edgar. Hi, Edgar. Marcos, ¿me escuchan? Hola, teacher. Hi, Marcos. You're driving. Buenas noches. Hi, Marcos. Voy en camino para la casa. Así escucho, Marcos. Así escucho. Con cuidado ahí, Marcos. Ok, gracias. Very good. Edgar, ¿me escucha? Ay, Edgar. Sorry. Uh, good evening, teacher. Hi, Edgar. How are you? Fine, fine. Thank you. I'm okay, Edgar. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Vamos a esperar. Marcos ahorita is driving. Vamos a esperar que entren más compañeritos. Okay. Logro terminar, Edgar, el midterm. Sí, teacher, eh, y es que hasta el, hasta el 2 hice hoy. Ok. Sí, ¿verdad? Ahí está bien, ¿verdad? El, el, el 3 lo tenemos que hacer hasta que terminemos la unidad 3. El midterm era después de la sección 2. Sí. Y luego, ahorita ya se queda con la sección 3, la tarea ayer que era la 11, hoy tocaría uh -huh. la 12. Uh -huh. Ok, sí. Thank you. Ok, thank you. All right, very good. Hi, Fabiola. Hi, teacher. How are you today, Fabi? Hi, teacher. Excellent. Very good, guys. Just give me a second because someone is texting on the group. Very good. All right, very good. Okay, guys, so today we're going to review a little bit about what we studied yesterday. All right, yesterday we were using could and would you mind, all right, to talk about uh, polite requests, okay? So, acuérdese que ayer, hi, Saul, good evening. Good evening, teacher. All right, very good. Um, so yesterday we were talking about could and would you mind, okay? Decíamos que ambos son para expresar una request very, very polite, okay? Pero veíamos que dentro de ambas o dentro de las dos hay diferencias, okay? Eh, tal vez no tanto en significado, sino que más bien en estructura. All right, so that's what we were talking about yesterday. Good evening, Carla. Welcome to class. Very good, thank you. All right, so yesterday, a ver, Edgar, se recuerda, we were using could, okay? So what is the um, the verb that you use, Edgar? Do you use it in present, I mean, in simple form, in like the base form or ing? Do you remember when you use could? Edgar? Sorry, teacher, the, the yes. verb uh, ing. With could, you say could you bring in? Or you say could you bring? Could you, could mm -hmm. you, could you be bringing, bringing? Okay, all right, vamos a ver si es cierto, Edgar. A ver, ¿quién? Could. <laughs> Yelga va a buscar sus notas. All right, very good. Sí. <laughs> That's okay. Hi, Magali. Good evening. A ver. Eh... No, no. Sorry. Uh -huh. Sorry. That's okay. Sorry. Sorry. Sí. Yeah. All right. That's okay. No, that's okay. That's okay. No. Okay. I'm no. sorry, 
I, 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 ing, and in cool. No, no, I, no, no right. I, I, ing. No, it's the base form, Edgar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Teacher, sorry. Yes, that's okay. So you say, for example, could you open? Could you take? Could you bring? Could you give? All right. So acordémonos que el could. We're going to use it with the base form. Okay. Base form. The Very base good. Form, so yeah. Excellent. Very good. Now. What about would you mind, Fabiola? With would you mind, Fabi, you're going to use the base form or you're going to use ing? They use ing. Excellent. Very good, Fabi. You use ing. Now, Magali, can you give me an example using would you mind? Would you mind if de, de las que hicimos. Sí, solo, que, solo el would you mind y luego el verbo con ing. Mm -hmm. Would you mind driving slowly? Excellent. Very good sentence, Magali. Would you mind driving slowly? All right, or slower. Very good. Nice. Okay. Carla, can you give me another sentence or ask another uh, polite request using could? Could you please pick me an order yes all right yes of course <laughs> all right very good so si vemos o recordamos entonces el significado is pretty much the same ambos son para hacer requests en una forma muy educada very nice okay la diferencia vamos la vamos a basar más que todo en estructura entonces repitiendo decimos el could con base form y el would you mind con ING, all right? So those are like the request. Ahora, también hablábamos de cómo contestamos entonces, ¿ok? Entonces en ambas, en ambas formas eh, podemos contestar como ok, no problem, right away, um, in a moment, ¿ok? Hay muchas formas de contestar, all right? Dependiendo también con quién usted está hablando, porque es como su mejor amiga o whatever, you say, sure, ok, no problem, yeah. Uh, let's do it or something, right? Y si es así como su supervisor or your boss or someone is, okay, I will do it right away. Es como más serio todavía o más polite en la respuesta, okay? Any questions about that, guys? Uh, do you have any questions about could? Would you mind? Any questions o estamos bien? No questions? No, okay, perfect. Vamos a pasar la primera asistencia. All right. Eh, esperamos que, esperemos que los demás compañeros igual ingresen. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Soy la Noemí Córdoba de Valencia. Cecilia Yamileto Osorio Alfaro. Candelaria del Tránsito Martínez Cisneros. Edgar Alfredo Mengíbar Pineda. Present. Carla Marta Cano Rivas. Here. Mayra Yasmin Rodríguez García. Marvel Omar Ramírez Vázquez. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Juan Present. Thank you. Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Elsie Anet de María Ramírez Navarro. Marcos Giovanni Morán Flores. Thank you. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel, Jennifer Magali Morán Guzmán. Present. Thank you. Carlos Jonathan García Alvarado, Jorge Antonio Hernández Cruz, Francisco Javier Villatoro Canales, Mariela de Los Ángeles Alvarado Díaz, José Saúl González Roque. Present teacher. Thank you. Soy la Noemí Córdoba de Valencia. Present. Hi, so, uh, Noemi, very good, thank you. Ah, oh, Juan Francisco <laughs> Enriquez González. Hi, good evening. Hello, Juan Francisco, good evening. All right, Ac acabamos de pasar la asistencia y acababa de mencionar su nombre, pero ya, ya está en lista. Very good, thank you, Juan Francisco. Thank All you, right. thank you. So today, guys, we're going to continue using, I mean, using other model verbs, and we're going to use should and shouldn't, okay? Vámonos al manual ahorita. Mm -hmm. 
no se ve. Ok. So here, we're going to use this. We're going to work on page 31. I will be able to. A ver, eh, Carla, can you read this, please? Where it says, I will be able to. Okay. I will be able to read to appropriate and inappropriate behavior at work. Let's start. Thank you, Carla. Yes, continue. <laughs> okay. Does your company have regulations about employees' behavior? Name three examples of an uh, unacceptable behavior in your company. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Carla. Okay. So here we have, guys, I will be able to. ¿Qué vamos a poder hacer ahora? Uh, react to appropriate and in, uh, inappropriate behavior at work. Cuando decimos appropriate, appropriate es with, cuando uh, tenemos un comportamiento apropiado. And inappropriate is when it's the opposite, cuando no es apropiado, no es adecuado, ¿ok? Nos vamos a ir ahorita a la, a la, a la número dos, a la conversación con Claudia y Raúl. All right, and then we're going to practice it, all right? So it says, listen to your instructor, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. And we have Claudia and Raúl, all right? And Claudia says, I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? Raúl, you are right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. It's not polite. That is not polite. He should answer his message after the meetings. And he should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Claudia. Agree, we should help him instead, okay? So, here we're talking about should and should not. So we have affirmative and we have negative. When we say should and we say should not, okay? Son igual verbos modales, okay? That help us to give advice. Si yo vengo donde usted le digo, you should study more, le estoy dando un consejo y le estoy diciendo debería debería de estudiar un poco más you should study more ok or shouldn't miss classes ok entonces no debería o debería en este caso no debería faltar a clases you shouldn't miss classes ok entonces vamos a usar el should y el shouldn't para poder expresar algún tipo de opinión de consejo, más, más que opinión, de consejo, ¿ok? Solo déjenme ver quién nos acaba de acompañar aquí. All right, very good. Ah, Werner, hi, Werner. Hi, Elsie. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today, Elsie? I'm very tired. Tired? Oh, no, Elsita. All right, very good. Ok, so here we have should and shouldn't. Voy a dejar de compartir y los voy a llevar a la presentación. Ok, vamos a ver aquí. Tenemos. We are going to talk about advice. Cuando hablamos de advice, hablamos de una sugerencia, de una... Yo le estoy... Ah, sí, le estoy sugiriendo algo, ¿verdad? Entonces le doy oh, eh, un advice. All right, so here we say, an opinion you give someone about what they should do. ¿Qué deberían hacer? should do, okay? Here we have, a ver, uh, Juan Francisco, can you read the first one, please? Mm, you should be wearing a helmet. Very good, okay, look at this guy here. Um, he is riding a, a motorcycle. A helmet is something that you put on your head, all right? And this guy is not wearing one. So the little girl says, hey, you should be wearing a helmet, okay? Le está dando el consejo 
All right. O la sugerencia de que debería de ponerse un qué? Casco. Un casco. Un casco, all right, because it's riding a bike, a, motor, a motorcycle, all right? So you should, all right? Let's see. Noemi, can you read the other one, please? We should. We use, sorry. We use should and show them to give advice or to talk about what, they, what we think is right or wrong. Ah, muy bien. Example, Noemi. Example, you look tired, you should go to bed. Excellent. Okay, ahora, esto que está aquí arriba, donde dice right or wrong, es lo mismo que está en el manual donde right dice appropriate o inappropriate, all right? Entonces, right is good and wrong is bad. Lo mismo que es inapropiado o inapropiado, all right? Entonces, es lo mismo. ¿Cuándo vamos a usar should or shouldn't? Cuando tenemos esta... Este comportamiento en este caso o cuando pensamos que algo es correcto o está erróneo o está mal, usamos should or shouldn't, ¿ok? A ver, example, let's see. Um, Elsie, can you read this example, please? The government should do more to help people. Excellent. The government should do more to help homeless people. ¿Entendemos que es homeless? ¿Sabemos que es homeless? Indigente. Yes, very good. All right, sin hogar. Right, very good. Homeless, indigentes. All right, so the government should do more to help homeless people. Debería. All right. Let's see. Example number, uh, next example. Werner, can you read this one, please? The kids. Show, show, uh, Werner, can you read it? Should, should not. Hola. Can you read the example, Werner? El soldo. Sold. Uh, teacher, ¿se escucha? Eh, un poquito, Werner. Um, the kid told spend so much time in the front of the TV. Excellent. The kids shouldn't. Esta es la contracción de should plus not. Lo uno y me queda shouldn't. Or should not. Si le cuesta, diga should not y no hay problema. So the kid shouldn't spend so much time in front of the TV. All right? So, ¿deberían o no deberían? No. No deberían. No deberían. No deberían. All right? Don't, they shouldn't spend so much time in front of the TV. Exacto. Very good. A ver. Next example. Ah, oh, no examples here. A ver. Do you have any questions about should or shouldn't? De hecho, no es muy difícil. Solo es saber qué quiere, uno, saber qué quiere decir. Dos, cuándo lo voy a usar en el sentido de si es algo apropiado o inapropiado, si es algo correcto o no correcto. Ocupo el should o el shouldn't para dar una recomendación o eh, cuando no quiero dar un consejo. All right? Yo digo, ah, los niños no deberían de pasar tanto tiempo enfrente de la tele. All right? Yo le digo, por ejemplo, I don't know. A Marta, ¿verdad? A, a Carla, Marta, que tiene, no sé, eh, que están los niños por ahí, es decir, a ah, Marta, y los niños pasan todo el día. Te vengo yo y le digo, Marta, the, the kids or the children shouldn't spend so much time in front of the TV, all right? Pero es un consejo, es una sugerencia, que lo tome o no, that's up to her, all right? Usted solo lo dice. Ahora, ¿cuál sería? Viendo estos ejemplos, shouldn't, te, 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 nos vamos a ir a este. Veamos este aquí. You should go to bed. Yo tengo subject y luego que tengo después del subject. Auxiliar. Okay, the, the, the modal verb. Okay, should. Modal, is the, modal the verb. verb. Very good. Exactly. Este the es verb. el modal. Eh, no confundamos. Este es el verbo modal, ¿verdad? Después del verbo, del verbo modal, ¿qué hay? Verb. The verb. Very good. The verb. Here. Ahora, ¿cómo está ese verbo? Um, the style not from the verb boss. The base verb, very good. It's on the base verb. It's the base verb, all right? So no cambia. Entonces, en ese caso, siempre que yo ocupa el que yo ocupe el should, el verbo eh, que le sigue va a ser en su forma base. Ahora, ¿qué pasa si en lugar de decir should 
Aquí yo digo, pongamos el nombre aquí, le vamos a cambiar nombre. Y voy a poner aquí, en lugar de sure, voy a poner, I don't know, um, uh, Roberto looks tired. Ok, Robert, ¿qué es Roberto? Roberto looks tired. Ahora, yo le quiero sugerir que él debería de ir a, a dormir o a la cama. ¿Cómo le voy a decir eso? Um, a ver, ¿quién me ayuda con esa oración? A ver, Juan Francisco, si yo digo Roberto looks tired y sugirámosle a él, o sugira, uh, hagamos la sugerencia de decir, él debería de irse a dormir. Uh, he, he should go to bed or go to sleep. Ok, so. Así, le voy a dar varias opciones, ok? She should, aunque usted ya me dijo una, pero vamos a ver, he should go to bed. Podría ser una opción. He should go to bed. He should go to bed. A ver, tenemos tres opciones ahí. Solo que hay una um, televisión por ahí, guys. A ver, he should go to bed, he should go to bed, or he should go to bed. ¿Cuál de esas tres? A ver, Edgar, solo dígame con la manito. Number one, number two, number three. Para Edgar, ¿cuál es correcta? One, two, or three. Number one. Number one. All right, Juan Francisco, one, two, or three. One. All right, Noemi, number one, two, or three. Number three? No. No le escuché. Ok, no. De estas tres opciones, Noemi, ¿cuál cree que es correcta? One, two, or three. He should go to bed, he should go to bed, or he should go to bed. He should go to bed. La tres, la tercera. Yes. Ok, manténgala ahí. A ver, eh, Elsie, one, two, or three. Mm. No sure. Um, number number one. Number one? Okay, very good. Uh Werner, number one, two or three, Werner. Okay, uh Fabiola, number one, two one. or three. Uh, number, number one. one. Okay, very good. Fabiola for you, number one. Marta, I mean Marta Carlita, Carla Marta. <laughs> for you, which one? Maybe number three. Maybe number three. All right, very good. Okay, uh, Francisco Javier, good evening. Number one, two, or three, Francisco Javier. Number three. Uh, la imagen no se ve bien, pero la, la, la número tres y la número uno podrían ser correctas. Okay, very good. So you have two choices, Francisco. Okay, very good. Magali, what about for you? Number one, two, or three? Number one. Number one. All right. Saul, for you, one, two, or three? Number three. Number three. All right. Very good. Okay. Vamos a ver a quién le da todo. Hola, me escuchan. Yes, teacher. Okay, yeah. okay, very good. Okay, so, thank you. So, in these sentences, guys, number one, he should go to bed. Number two, he should go to bed. Y number, number three, he should go to bed. All right? Recordemos que estamos ante un verbo modal. Y los verbos modales tienen sus reglas bien propias. Okay? Una de sus reglas es que nunca va a cambiar, nunca va a llegar, llevar ningún cambio, should. En el caso, o el verbo modal, aunque sea tercera persona singular. Quiere decir que yo no voy a poder decir la número dos, obviamente no va. He should go to bed jamás. All right? El verbo modal no va a cambiar ante ninguna persona. ¿Ok? Ya sea could, should, uh, well, uh, ought to, must, could, todos esos no cambian. Ninguno de esos. Otra de las reglas de los verbos modales también dice 
que el otro verbo que le sigue o el verbo principal después de should o del verbo modal tampoco lleva cambio así sea tercera persona singular. Por lo tanto, la número uno es la correcta. He should go to bed. ¿Ok? Si usted dice, ah, por, por la lógica nos indicaría que es esta, la tercera, porque como estamos hablando de he, pues dice, bueno, okay. tercera persona singular, le corresponde he goes to bed. Sí, pero como an, le están te poniendo should, all right, y el verbo modal protege al verbo principal, entonces no hay ninguna inflexión, no hay ningún cambio. He should go to bed. Entonces, cada vez que usted vea un verbo, eh, un modal verb, all right, el siguiente verbo tiene que ir en forma base para todas las personas. Igual de forma negativa. He shouldn't go to bed. All right? al, el not le, se lo voy a poner al, en este caso al should o al verbo modal en cuestión. He shouldn't go to bed. All right. Igual que ayer que le hacíamos la referencia por el ejemplo que dio Magali, no vamos a decir don't o doesn't o didn't, o ningún auxiliar. Es nada más el not. To make it negative, vamos a decir he should not go to bed or he shouldn't go to bed. ¿Ok? ¿Entendemos con eso? ¿Vamos bien con eso hasta ahí? ¿Ya? Yeah. All right. Ok. Entonces. Antes de seguir acá, voy a dejar de compartir. Quiero que usted piense en dos oraciones. Affirmative and negative. Algo que usted debería de hacer en el trabajo. Entonces usted va a poner I should. Cada quien sabe qué debería de hacer. Si lo hace ya es otra cosa. All right. I should y continúa. Y la otra es negative. I shouldn't. Think about your job. Don't think about your house. Don't think about your family. Think about your job tomorrow. Les doy dos minutos y luego compartimos, ¿ok? All right, finished. Yes, all right, let's see. Elsie, should and shouldn't. All right, tell me your two sentences, Elsie, please. Ay, hice la dos positiva. Bueno. Okay. I should read my emails every day. Okay. I should send my report at the end of the day. Okay, now. Excellent, Elsita, very good. Estoy preguntando a los demás, piensa en una negativa that you shouldn't do. All right, very good. Uh, Fabiola, can you tell us about you should or shouldn't? Yes, I should tell more I will. You should, right? Yes. Can you tell me again, Fabi, please? Uh, I should uh -huh. tell me, tell more, I will. 
Okay, and the negative one? <laughs> Only one sentence. No la hice lo una, no la he hecho. Ok, trabaje, trabajeme en la negativa en lo, que, en lo que seguimos aquí con los compañeros. A ver, Edgar, tell me your two sentences, please. Um, I shouldn't eat at office. Oh, my goodness, ok. <laughs> uh, I should enter early. Ah, oh, ok, very good. Excellent, Edgar, very nice sentences. Let's see, Saul, what do you have for your sentences? Saul? No, all right, let's see. Um, I don't know. Werner, what about your two sentences? Oh, oh, okay, okay, that's okay, Saul. Tell me your two sentences. Number one, number yes. one. I should study English. Ah, okay. Study English. Number two, I shouldn't spend the time. Okay, very good. Thank you. Nice. Very good. Let's see. Werner, can you tell me your two sentences, please? Um, uh, he, he should wear the mask. You should wear the mask? You, because yeah. you're talking about you. Okay. Yeah. Y la otra es... Uh, he shouldn't be the referee. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. That's fine. Very good. Let's see. Francisco Javier, tell me your two sentences. Okay. I shall put a deadline for the project. Okay. And, and the negative one? Uh -huh. I shouldn't negate, negate, uh, negate me for the interview. Oh, okay, very good. Yeah, you shouldn't. Very nice. You never know. Juan Francisco, what about your sentences? I should uh, study more the irregular verbs. Okay. I shouldn't drink too many soda. Too much soda. Too much soda. All too right. much. Very good. Nice. Thank Noemi, you. thank you. Noemi, can you tell me your two uh, your two sentences? I should check the document. Okay. Uh, I shouldn't work so late. You shouldn't, Noe. <laughs> For <laughs> sure, you shouldn't. All right, very good. Uh, let me see. Uh, Magali, can you tell us your two sentences? I should uh, make two report. Okay. Uh, uh, I shouldn't be late for work. All right, nice, very good. Carla. Dice, yes, tengo, yes, tengo una Magali, pregunta. Yeah. Ask me, yeah. Uh -huh. eh, should, en shouldn't jamás vamos a usar el verbo en ing. No. 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 Only for... la... oh. Okay. Always in the base form, Magali. Yeah. Thanks. Very good. Yes, nice. Carla, can you tell us your two sentences, please? Okay. I should organize and meet with my team. Okay. And I shouldn't waste my time in the social media. Oh, Carlita. All right. <laughs> All right. Very good. Nice. Very good. Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. No, Elsita, you had one more sentence in negative. Yes. I shouldn't go to the office because of the pandemic. Ah, very nice. I like your sentence. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Very good. A teacher, yo lo hice con él. Entonces sería, sí. entonces tendría I, que haber sido I should I, mm -hmm. the mask yeah. y la otra I shouldn't be the referee. The referee. Yes, Werner. But that's okay. Uh -huh. Si se fijan, no cambia. Solo va a cambiar el sujeto. En este caso, usted lo cambió fácilmente de he and a, a I. <laughs> Y en ambas oraciones y lo demás no le cambió para nada. Ok. Right, very good. A ver, Fabiola, ¿me debía una? Fabi se le corta, fíjese. 
Maybe you can type it, Fabi, porque se le corta el audio. All right, very good. Okay. Maybe you can type it, um, Fabiola. All right, so we're going to do the first practice right now. Uh huh. Yes, Fabi, can you tell me again if you want? Okay. All right, okay. So we're going to continue here, guys. Vamos a ver esto. All right. Can you take a picture of these guys, please? Hold on. It's going to move us here. Take a picture. Done. Got it? Finished? Yeah, done. Okay, very good. No, it's it done? Perdón, perdón. No, ahorita. That's okay. Thank you, teacher. You're very welcome. All right. Now this one here. Take another picture with this. Okay, now what are you going to do here in ambas, de hecho en ambos ejercicios, tiene que escoger, vaya, por ejemplo, yo estoy trabajando con Noé, Noemi, y la vamos leyendo, you brush your teeth twice a day to have a bright smile, para nosotros es should or shouldn't, entonces vamos a escoger entre should or shouldn't, dependiendo del contexto de la oración, en este ejercicio, en esta primera foto, y de igual forma en este de aquí. All right, so en las dos vamos a hacer lo mismo. Should or shouldn't, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to send you to your groups now. Teacher, puede poner la primera, por favor, teacher. Se, no, no, no. Ahorita, okay. Le pude tomar el screenshot. Bueno, esa ya la tengo, eh, esa no. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Teacher, me pone la segunda por hacer el último. Okay. Okay, you're welcome. Very good. Okay. So now let's go to our, the groups here. Y trabajamos en las dos fotos. Edgar, ¿no le salió la invitación, Edgar?
Hi, Marcos. Hi, Marcos. Marcos, ¿me escucha? Marcos. Marcos, ¿me escucha? Marcos, Marcos. Hola, teacher. ¿Me escucha, Marcos? No. Oh, no me escucha. ¿Me escucha, Marcos? No. ¿No me escucha? Usted sí me escucha a mí. Sí, perfecto. Pero yo no le escucho. Ah, a ver. ¿Y ahora? ¿No? Ah, hola, hola. ¿Me escuchan? Sí, sí, te escuchamos. Marcos. Werner, Edgar, ¿me escuchan? ¿Ya? Sí, teacher. Marcos, ¿me escucha? Ya, ya teacher. Marcos, ¿no me escucha? Marcos, mute. Ah, no, no, no tiene mute, pero no le escucho. Pero yo a él sí le escucho. Sí. Sí. Ahí creo que ya entró Marco. Edgar, ¿Ah? ¿escucha ahorita? Ya está dicho. Marco, ¿me escuch ¿nos escuchas? Yes. Hola, hola. Ya está dicho. Hola, Marco. A ver qué le pasó a este volato. A ver, Werner, en Edgar, ¿cómo van? Uh, ya contestamos la primera, la primera y la segunda. ¿Todo? ¿Ya terminaron todo? No, 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 no. Ahorita vamos con la tercera. No, la, la segunda ah, pregunta. Yo pensé que la segunda foto. No. <risa> la, 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 estamos en la primera. ¡Qué rápido! No, no, no. no. Aquí. Vamos, con, vamos con la tres. Super ah, Google ya hizo todo, digo la teacher. No. no. Before going to, to Madrid for holiday, you... You should, you should, um, do the, do, you should try and learn, learn something of the language. You will enjoy things a, a lot, of, a lot, a lot more, a lot more. Should. La tercera sería should, entonces. Mm -hmm. No, tú deberías de, uh, tú deberías de ir a Madrid for mm. you, el holiday del día de San Valentín to treat ah. and learn. Okay. Tú deberías... Trick qué significa? Aprende, aprender ah. alguna... Trip, trip es como viajar. Ah, viajar. Viajar and y learn. aprender ah. algunas cosas de, de... Algunas frases o palabras de, 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 de la lengua, ¿verdad? Cuando viajas. Sí, correcto. Bueno, entonces es Chult. Ok, mm -hmm. listo. Siguiente, Nets. Nets. Number four. Four. You. You always know. Knock. Yeah, always, the always. door before entering. This is a private office. Always knock. Always on the door. Knock. Before. Okay, stop it. Probando, hoy sí me escuchan. Yes, sí, te escuchamos. Yes. Ah, al fin arreglé yes, esta cosa. Ah. ¿Ya me escucha, Marcos? Sí, hoy sí, teacher. Estaba ah, ahí ya que le daba con algo a esta cosa. Ok, 
ok, y yo pensé que era yo. <risa> ah, ahí es, children. Children. Tú no deberías eh, golpear la puerta antes, antes de entrar. Ah, es children. Children. Eso es. Okay, la oficina es privada. Uh, mm -hmm. Así es, the, the model on the TV is to verify him. Scam. Um, the model. model of the television is to scam. Que es skin. 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 Demasiado, creo, demasiado. Skinny, porque. Es demasiado, este modelo. demasiado delicado. Este, este modelo, modelo de, de televisión, televisión es verdad. Es demasiado, demasiado delgado, flaco, algo así. Uh -huh. uh, Ella no debe, o sea, no debería, entonces, so, so no then, debería de, so then. Sí, ella no debería. So Debería comer, comer más. Uh, Antes uh, de eh, she should, no, she should eat more. O sea, ella debería comer más. Ahí tiene. Porque si estuviera demasiado corto, no debería de comer. Entonces sería la número uno. Should. ¿Por qué should? Porque, les, porque están hablando de que es muy delgada. Entonces, uh -huh. entonces uno dice, ella debería de comer más. Ay, ok. Porque si entonces mm -hmm. se muere anoréxica. <risa> se nos <risa> se nos va. Y... No, tienes razón, ya solamente sería Chul. solo la, la ropa. <risa> Vamos a la siguiente. Number six. Perfecto. Teacher, ¿y esa la traducción es embarazada o preñada? De embarazada. hecho, ninguna era uh, embarazada. 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 Uh -huh. uh, Shouldn't, no debería fumar. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Shouldn't. No debería fumar. Y las siete... Uh, Lizzie. It's Lizzie. Lizzie and ask Brian to help her with her student. He did this. Show. show. Y se debería preguntarle a Brian que le ayude. Uh, que le ayude eh, en su en su estudio, en el estudio, ¿verdad? En sus, es, en sus estudios, pronto. creo, porque Ajá. es students, students. Uh -huh. en sus estudios. Entonces es show, show ¿verdad? Show. show. Ok, next. Hoy sí. Siguiente parte. Do a slide, do a slide. Oh. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Yes, un poquito más, like. más para abajo para ver el número uno. Ok. Número uno. Sí, number one. Yo... Es eh, muy similar al anterior. Sí. Teacher, una, una cosa, teacher. Fíjese de que yo me metí con el teléfono. Cuando está dando la clase me meto con el teléfono, pero hay dos Werner. Sí. Ese es el detalle. Y ahora, antes de entrar a los grupos, yo me desconecté con la cámara porque si no iba a estar Werner en dos grupos y no quise hacer eso. Lo que pasa es que. Alguien lo... en do... con... esperando lo que usted entre. Ah, no. No, no, no. No, no. Ah. no, me desconecté antes de que formara los grupos. Chicos. Ah, that's nice. Thank you. Ok. Sí, sí, sí. La primera, you brush. 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 Your teacher. Twice sería. Uh, teacher, twice. Twice es dos veces. Twice. Add, uh -huh. Twice. Add it. Brush, 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 brush your teeth. Uh, 
Essential. Oh. Essential. Mm-hmm. Number two. Number two. People. Este shouldn't. Animal. Las personas no deberían herir a los animales porque ellos son nuestros amigos. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Teacher, en esa es la pronunciación. O sea, el shouldn't es shouldn't. A veces uno dice shouldn't. Es correcto, ¿no? O es shouldn't. 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 Uh -huh. Una D-O al final. Shouldn't, shouldn't sí. Shouldn't, ok. okay. Number three. Yeah. It is going umbrella. to rhyme. Uh -huh. You should. ¿Cómo está lloviendo? Sí. Mm -hmm. Tiene que llevar una sombrilla. You should. You should taste an umbrella. Oh, pero. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sí, should. You should. Um, number four. Number four. We. Sleep a night to be fresh. Nosotros deberíamos dormir. And... Porque está fresco. Sería. Deberíamos o no deberíamos. <risa> sí, deberíamos. Depende. ¿verdad? Si es fiesta, ¿no? <risa> <risa> Bueno, sí, chup, chup, chup. Sí, sí, sí. 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 Sí, You should wash uh, your hands before eating. Yes, you should. Chult. Mm -hmm. Wash your hands. Number six. Uh, in, uh, you shouldn't. Tú no deberías beber mucha, mucho café. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Y number, la number six, six, seven, seven, five, six, seven. Do your homework you, to um, a good student. Should sería. You should. You should do your homework to be a good student. <laughs> Tú deberías de hacer la tarea to be. Porque Para es ser un buen estudiante. estudiante. Uh -huh. To be a good student. I don't know. No. Eight. Number eight. Eight. We we help all people. We should. Nosotros deberíamos ayudar a las personas. We should. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come all on. people. Yeah. We should. Sí, nosotros. Sí. We should. No, no, we oh. should. Should. Este should. Nosotros deberíamos de ayudar a las personas mayores. Uh, all people. Oh, you see? Finish. Finish. Finish, right? Teacher. Yes, teacher. Excellent. All right. So, Marcos, si usted se fijó, estamos hablando del should y el shouldn't, que es, eh, lo usamos para dar un consejo o un, um, ¿una qué sería? Ah, una sugerencia. All right. Entonces usamos el should y el shouldn't. El should sería usado para algo que usted, como afirmativo, ¿verdad? You should go to sleep. Usted debería de dormir temprano o debería de dormir. Y la otra es you shouldn't sleep late. ¿Ok? Entonces es, dependiendo de lo que quiere decir, si es eh, good or si es bad o si es correct or if it's wrong. All right. Entonces esto estábamos viendo. 
También decíamos, Marcos, que a pesar de que usted hable en tercera persona singular, ese verbo modal que es el should o el shouldn't no va a cambiar con ellos, ¿ok? No se le va a poner ese ni nada por el estilo, ni a él, ni al verbo, ni al verbo modal should o shouldn't, ni al verbo que le sigue. Oye, entonces, por ejemplo, yo digo, eh, Edgar shouldn't uh, speak Spanish, por decirle algo. Ni shouldn't o speak lleva ningún cambio a pesar de que estoy hablando de Edgar. ¿Por qué? Porque lleva un verbo modal y los verbos modales me permiten o protegen a los verbos para que no pase ningún cambio. ¿Ok, Marcos? Y eso hablando siempre singular, como usted lo mencionaba. Sí, o, o sea, en puede ser... Personas también. Eh, para, para nadie va a cambiar, Marcos. Yo voy a decir, Edgar should uh, speak English, o debería decir, o podría decir, Edgar, Werner, and Marcos should speak English. No importa en la per el número de personas, ya sea I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, no importa. El should lo va a mantener igual, o shouldn't, en el caso que fuera negativo, más el verbo que va en su forma base. All right? Okay, para so ser... <laughs> No, no se altera, no cambia para nada. Ok. okay. ¿Es en no qué parte? Si... Ajá. Del manual, ¿qué, qué, ¿qué página es, teacher? Es la 31, me parece. Ah, ok, voy a uh -huh. buscarlo porque... Ok. Vamos a regresar entonces. Ok, gracias. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right, finish guys, yes. Yes. All right, let's see. Um, we're gonna share, I'm gonna share this screen again. All right, I think this one was, yeah, this one was number one. All right, Elsie, can you read the whole sentence, please? You should brush your teeth twice a day to have a bright smile. Excellent. You should brush your teeth twice a day to have a bright smile. Very good. Magali, can you read number two, please? People shouldn't hurt the animals because they are our, our friends. Excellent, Magali. Very good. People shouldn't hurt the animals because they are our friends. Carla, can you read number three, Carla, please? It is going to rain. You should take an umbrella. Excellent. It is going to rain. You should take your umbrella. Very nice. Let's see. Uh, then I have Marcos Giovanni. Can you read number four? Marcos, Marcos. que no tome nota de todo esto que estaban escribiendo estos muchachos. Ah, hola. Okay. hola, hola. Ah, Pero sí, trate sí. de hacerla ahí. ¿Qué cree que, que podríamos poner ahí? ¿O qué tiene más sentido en la número cuatro? ¿We should or we shouldn't? Eh, we should. Yeah, we should sleep at night to be fresh, para estar como descansados, ¿verdad? El siguiente día o frescos. All right, very good. Thank you, Marcos. Noemi, can you do number five? Noé? Perdón. La dije solo para más. Eh, you, wa you should wash your hands before eating. Excellent. You should wash your hands before eating. Very nice. Juan Francisco, number six. Number six. Uh, 
you shouldn't drink too much coffee. Excellent. You shouldn't drink too much coffee. Very good. Next one, number eight, seven. Fabi? You should do your homework to be a good student. Very good. You should do your homework to be a good student. Thank you, Fabi. Very good. Yes. Werner, can you do number eight? We should help all people. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Saul, can you do the other one, please? Can you do number one for this one? Listen to that music our neighbors shouldn't play music that live at this hour. Very good. Our neighbors shouldn't play music that loud at this hour. Very good. Francisco Javier, can you do number two? Yeah. If your foot uh, is still hurting you tomorrow, you should go to the dentist. Excellent, very good, thank you, very nice. Uh, let me see who I haven't asked. I think I asked everybody. Edgar, can you do number three? Edgar? Uh, before going to Madrid, for your holidays, you you should you should try and learn something of the language. You will enjoy things a, a lot more. Excellent. You should try and learn something of, of the language. Very nice. Elsie, can you do number four, please? You should always knock on the door before entering. This is a private office. This is a private office. Very good. Private office. You should always knock on the door. All right. Debería de tocar siempre de tocar la puerta antes de entrar. Very nice. Werner, can you do number five? Um, that model on the TV is too skinned. Skinny. She, ski, skinny. Skinny. Mm -hmm. She should eat more, I think. She should eat more, I think. Very nice. Okay, very good. Magali, can you do number six? Uh, so, microphone, Jennifer. Premium, uh, bring. bring, bring. Pregnant women. Pregnant women. Very good. Pregnant women. Women shouldn't smoke as it can damage the baby. Excellent. Very good. Ah, uh, let me see. Juan Francisco, can you do the last one? Uh, Lizzie should ask Brian to help her with her studies. She did the same. All right, very good. And then you have the other thing on uh, after that. Very good, guys. So yeah, as you notice, this is not very difficult, all right? We just need to remember that nothing is going to happen with anybody, all right? It should be that igual for I, you, he, she, it, I, or whatever. Igual que el shouldn't, y luego después del verbo modal, en este caso should or shouldn't, va el verbo en su forma base para todos, no solo para... Los plurales o para I, sino que es for everybody, right? For he, for she, for it, for you, for we, for they. For everybody is should plus the base form or shouldn't plus the base form. Ok, así lo vamos a ver. De esa forma, si lo vamos a tratar, entonces nunca va a haber ningún cambio para nadie. Ok, it wasn't difficult, right? It's not difficult. No, es fácil. Excellent, very good. Let's continue here with, ah, se ve que tengo que tomar la asistencia ahorita. A ver, eh, Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Soy la Noemí Córdoba de Valencia. Present. Thank you. Eh, Cecilia Yamileto Soria Alfaro. 
Candelaria del Tránsito Martínez Cisneros, Edgar Alfredo Mengíbar Pineda. Thank you. Carla Marta Cano Rivas. Here. Mayra Yasmín Rodríguez García. Marvel Omar Ramírez Vázquez. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present. Thank you. Eh, Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Present teacher. Elsie Yanet de María Ramírez Navarro. Present teacher. Marcos Giovanni Morán Flores. Present teacher. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Carlos Jonathan García. No, no, no. Jennifer Magali Morales Guzmán, perdón. Present. Thank you. Carlos Jonathan García Alvarado, Jorge Antonio Hernández Cruz, Francisco Javier Toro Canales. Present. Mariela de Los Ángeles Alvarado Díaz, and José Saúl González Roque. Present teacher. Thank you. All right, let's go back to the book now, guys, here. Uh, let me see here. Okay, so we already talked about the conversation, Claudia and Raúl, all right? Revise ahí eh, rapidito la conversación, usted solo y sola, ya la leímos por el principio de la clase, revise si no hay, um, que, si hay algo that you guys don't understand or you want me to repeat. Le doy un minuto, a ver, revíselo ahí. All right, finished. Any vocabulary, guys, that you don't know or that you want me to repeat or pronounce? Or everything is okay? All right, so it says, I can't believe it. All right, Roberto is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? Nada, nada, nada de ahí es, eh, ¿todos lo saben? Sí. Yeah? Okay. Sí. You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Ya sabemos el verbo chat. All right. Absolutely. That is not polite. ¿Se recuerdan que es polite? Educado. Educado. Very good. Okay, very nice. Thank you. He should answer his messages after the meeting. The meeting. All right. No problem there. No, verdad? Everything okay? Excellent. Very good. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. All right. Any problem with that vocabulary or everything is okay? Either. Tampoco. Either means tampoco. Thank you. All right. Agree. We should help him instead. ¿Saben qué quiere decir instead? Es como no, en lugar de estar hablando de lo que él ha hecho, mejor ayudémosle. Instead es en lugar de. Por eso le dice Raúl, ¿verdad? Él debería de contestar sus mensajes después de la reunión y nosotros no deberíamos de estar hablando de él. Tampoco es educado. All right, por eso le dice Claudia, I agree, estoy de acuerdo. We should help him instead. Entonces, en lugar deberíamos de um, ayudarle. All right, en lugar de, ok. Ok, very good. Here, uh, let me see here. 
let's do this one here. Number uh, number three says discuss the questions with a partner. What are some polite behaviors you expect from your coworkers, and what are some rude behaviors your coworkers are not expected to do? Quiero que piense igual en your company. All right. Now, entendemos la palabra behaviors. Do we understand behavior? No. Comportamiento. All right. So, piense, what are some polite behaviors que usted espera, cuando dice you expect, es que usted espera que sus eh, compañeros de trabajo hagan. All right. Comportamientos adecuados o a, eh, adecuados y educados. Y en la otra, what are some, number two, what are some rude behavior? Rude es lo opuesto de polite. Si polite es, es nice, es, es adecuado o y educado, rude es lo contrario. What are some rude behaviors your coworkers are not expected to do? All right, por ejemplo, usted puede decir no gritar, eh, no, no gritarle a alguien, o no, no sé, no tirar la puerta, o no contestar un teléfono en una reunión. Piense, a ver, en la número uno, que son estas, piense en dos o tres. All right, y en la, en la número dos, igual piensen en otras dos o tres de should, aquí que should, y aquí they shouldn't do. Ok. Les voy a dar un par de minutitos, me van avisando cuando van terminando para poder compartir. ¿Puedo dejar de compartir o necesitan que lo comparta? Lo deje aquí en pantalla. Déjelo ir. Ok.
All right, finished. Are you guys finished? Perfect. All right. ¿Cómo van los demás? ¿Terminaron? Todavía no. Hello, hello, Werner finished, Fabiola finished, Magali, Saul, what about you guys? Are you done or not? No, teacher, no, terminado, teacher. Okay. You finished, Magali? I finished. All right. Okay, vamos a esperar dos minutitos más para darle a uh, un poquito más de tiempo a los compañeros que no han terminado. All right. All right, let's see. Um, Noemi, what are some polite um, behaviors that you expect from your coworkers? Uh, they, I, they keep silence in a meeting. They should keep silence in a meeting. All right, very good. Uh -huh. they, should, they shouldn't talk when they are eating. Okay, <laughs> very good. Okay, <laughs> nice, very good. What about rude behavior that is not expected? La numero dos, the rude behaviors that they should not do or they're not expected to do. You don't have those one, Noe? No. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, very good. Uh, let's see, Elsie, what do you have? I should always say hi. Ah, okay. I should do team work. Um, true, I should not be mistreated. You should not be mistreated. All right. Okay. Nice. Okay. Very good. Okay. Um, so, I uh -huh. should not be rude to my workers. To your co-workers, very good. Okay. Co -workers. Oh, to your workers. Okay, very good. Carla, Marta, what do you have, Carlita? For number one and for number two. Okay. My co-workers should wear a complete uniform. Ah, uh -huh. very good, yes. My co-workers should answer to all, it's a pleasure. 
Oh, really? <laughs> very good. Okay. Okay. Very um, nice. My coworker should work better for the team. Okay. Yes. And the rule. Uh huh. The rule ones. Yes. Uh, and my coworker should attend the meet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. My coworker shouldn't chat in uh, in labor hours. Ah, in working hours. Mm -hmm. okay. My coworker should be kind every time. Yay, very nice. Okay, very good. Okay, let's see. Francisco Javier, what do you have for number one and for number two about your coworkers? I expect that my coworkers should be respect to other coworkers. Okay, they should be respectful. Okay. Respectful. Yeah, respectful. Very good. Okay, respect, respectful. Es unido. Otra. Respectful. Yes. No, es unido. Okay. And. Y, y realmente no entendía qué iba a hacer, así que ahorita que escuché a uno, eh, me puse a hacerlo realmente. Ok, that's ok. <laughs> yeah. That All right. Was ok, that's fine. Ok, very good. Uh, let me see. Edgar, what do you have for that one? Edgar? Sorry, teacher, no, no lo okay. he terminado todavía. ¿Tiene, ¿Pero Sorry. tiene alguna? Um, no, es que, es que, um, perdón. That's okay, Edgar, that's fine, that's fine. Magali, tell es, us about your que, sentence. Uh -huh. Sorry, es que me levanté porque se me, se me estaba descargando la, ah, la computadora. Ah, okay. All right, don't worry about it, Edgar. That's okay, that's okay. Magali, can you do your sentences? Uh, we shouldn't talk with your co-worker when your boss talk to talk to you. Okay, so they shouldn't talk when the boss is talking to them. Okay, very good. Another one? Uh, you, we shouldn't joke in the office. You shouldn't joke in the office. Joke. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And another, uh, we should go to the meeting in the morning. Ah, okay. Very good. Okay, very nice. I understand. Very good. Let me see. Um, Francisco, uh, Francis, Juan Francisco, can you tell me your sentences? Okay. Um, they should throw the toucher in your plate. Okay. They should clean your desk. They should clean their desks. Okay. Yes. All right. And they, they should respect the time for a train. Ah. And rules. And they shouldn't eat in the control room. Ah, oh, very good. Okay, they shouldn't. And they shouldn't put down your face mask. Ah, oh, they should. Okay, they shouldn't take it off. <laughs> Yeah, all uh, right. Take, all right, very good. Out. Nice. Very good, Juan Francisco. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, they shouldn't part in the confinement space. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you. All right, guys, let's continue here. Uh, sure. Yes. Uh, puede ser esta, uh, my co worker shouldn't uh, take a bad position about his work time. My coworker shouldn't uh, repeat that again, Juan Francis. I mean, Francisco Javier. My coworker shouldn't take a bad position about her work time. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't. Very good. Nice. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Let's go on here, guys, then with this. Okay. Page 32. How to use should and shouldn't or should not. Okay. So we have these here. Look at the words in bold and complete the sentences below. The guard should answer my good morning greeting, all right? A veces uno llega a una oficina o a algún lugar y usted saluda y nadie lo saluda, all right? Ni siquiera lo vuelven a ver. And that's very rude. 
ok, no importa quién sea, I think you should always say hi or say good morning. Okay, so the guard should answer my good morning greeting. Linda should greet with a firm handshake. ¿Entienden lo que es un handshake? Guys, you know what a handshake is? Saludo con la mano. Sí. No. Ajá, saludarse con la mano. Cuando usted le da un handshake, all right, usted saluda así con su manito. All right, very good. The supervisor should use a greeting in his emails. You, sh uh, you should say please when you ask for a favor. Darío, la, en la siguiente columna, Darío should not use many emojis in his emails. Helen should not speak so loudly. Gabriel should not tell sexist, sexist, sorry, sexist jokes. All right, and your boss should not shout at you. All right, entonces estamos siempre hablando de cosas que deberían o no deberían de hacerse eh, en su ambiente laboral. All right, por ejemplo, ese de hablar muy fuerte o de decir como eh, chistes o comentarios sexistas o que su jefe no le debería de gritar. All right, so those are the things that, that shouldn't happen. All right, y las otras de que they should happen. Ahora, Aquí abajo donde dice you should plus, ¿qué vamos a usar? Carla, the infinitive form or the base form of the verb? The base form. The base form, all right? And then complete uh, any complete phrase to express a direct suggestion. Very good. And uh, let me see. Magali, use should plus not. Plus the infinitive form, Magali, or the base form of the verb? The base form Excellent. of the verb. Very good. Okay. Plus any complement phrase to give a suggestion about something that is not appropriate. All right. Very good. Now, vamos a hacer esto acá. Los voy a mandar a su grupo ahorita. I want you to read this. Van a leer. Van a leer esto. Bueno, este ya está acá, pero ya igual lo vamos a incluir. Este, this one. This one and this one. So, situa is like situations, ¿ok? Va a leerla con su compañero y van a dar sugerencias, ya sea usando should o usando shouldn't. For example, Peter is the new supervisor. He likes to give orders. He never says please. ¿Cuál es la sugerencia? Peter should ask polite requests. Otra, u otra, perdón. Peter should say please when he asks for something. Ok. Ahora, piense acá, lean estas tres que quedan, like two, three, and four. Léalas y piensen en sugerencias acá. Ok. All right. Yes. Ok. We're going to work on that right now, guys. So voy a mandar a sus grupos para que hagan las sugerencias ahí. Dependiendo de lo, la situación, usted dice should o shouldn't. Eh, si pueden pensar dos sugerencias por cada situación, that would be nice, ¿ok? All right, let's go back to your groups then.
All right, guys, let's see. So for number two, it says when Carl is angry or things are not as he expects, he shouts, all right? Carla, what do you have for that one? ¿Con qué trabajo, Carlita? With Elsie. With Elsie, ah, oh, perfect. Okay, so Elsie and Carla, what is your suggestion? Using should. With Carl or who? Yeah, like, like what is your suggestion for Carl? What happens with Carl? Ah, uh, when Carl is angry or things are not as he expects, he shouts. Mm -hmm. And Carl should keep calm and okay. think solution. All right, okay. And my assistant never uses a sal salutation. 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 In her emails. Uh -huh. Salutation in her emails. My assistant should be educated. All right. We are assistant. All right. Very good. And the last one, Carla and Elsie? Um, Lucy shouldn't tell jobs in the office. Uh, and should talk softly. All right. Softly. softly. All right. Very good. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Let's see. Thank you, girls. Magali, who are you working with? With Noemi. Okay. Can you tell us the advice for Carl? For number two, uh, when Carl is angry, uh huh. Carl should uh, breathe deeply. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> breathe deeply. Yes, uh huh. And uh, number two, uh, my assistant should always say hi. Okay, your assistant should always say hi. And number three, Lucy shouldn't tell jokes in the office. All right, very good, thank you. All right, let's see. Francisco Javier, who, you, who are you working with? With Francisco. Oh, all right, Francisco, Francisco, all right, so. What is your suggestion for number two, for Carl? For number, for number two? Yes, please. Okay, Carl, Carl should be more polite. Um, okay, very Carl, good, yes. Carl should apologize, apologize to other co-workers. Excellent, nice, all right. Uh, Juan Francisco, what about my assistant never uses a salutation in her emails? What is your suggestion or advice? Mm, okay. Uh, she should remember use the salutation mm -hmm. in her mail. Okay. She should have a template that includes mm -hmm. the salutation. Perfect. Very good. Nice. All right. Very, very good. All right. Um, Marcos, Werner, and Edgar, what do you have for number four? Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office. She laughs very loudly. Okay, teacher. Uh, Lucy shouldn't talk loud when she tells jokes. <laughs> when she tells jokes. Okay. That's okay. Um, Any other suggestion for that one? Yeah. Um, uh, he his assistant assistant okay. show yes. uh, his assistant show say uh, hello mm -hmm. when when they send emails. Perfect. Very good, Edgar. Very nice. Okay. Excellent, guys. Very good. Okay. Uh, Saul, who were you working with? Ah, okay. Okay. So, um, Saul and Fabiola, what is your advice for number two? Yeah. Number two, Carl shouldn't shoot. Shouldn't Carl shout. Yes. Shouldn't shoot. Okay. No, number three, my assistant should use a salutation in her email. Very good. Okay. Number four. Uh huh. She shouldn't love very loudly. 
All right, she shouldn't laugh very loudly. Very good, excellent guys, thank you. I'm gonna stop sharing this right now and I'm gonna share this with you now. It's this one. Okay, let's do this together guys, but uh, let's see. You're talking always about should or shouldn't. Can you guys see it? Yeah? All right. Can you guys see my screen? Yes? Yes. All right, very good. It's as much the sentences one to five with the sentences A through E. All right, Carla, can you read number one? Just touch up but that's okay. Can you read number one and with the matching letter? What should I visit when I go to London? Mm -hmm. You should visit the London Eye. Very good. All right. So if you guys ever go to London, you have to make sure that you visit the London Eye. All right. Very nice. Uh, Saul, can you read number two and try to find the answer? You shouldn't go on your own. On your own. You shouldn't go off on your own. Uh, yeah, I don't know. All right. What? Um, uh, what excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Two A. You shouldn't go off on your own. We don't want to get lost. Okay, that could be one. That could be one possibility, Saul. But there's another one. That is a little bit better. What do you think it is? Excuse me, excuse me, teacher. Yes, that one that you gave me the solution is letter A. All right, pero hay otra que es un poquito mejor todavía. Ah, uh, eh, one moment. Mm -hmm. um, eh, eh, you shouldn't go off golf. Who is what is what is golf? Ah, uh, como no no puedes no deberías ir eh, solo o no deberías de ir sola. O tú o tú propio. O you, sí o sí you, sí. Uh, lo, uh, ajá. Lo que pasa, claro, eso es como traduciéndolo tal cual, pero en otras palabras lo que le dices no deberías salir tú sola o usted solo. No deberías salir usted solo. Uh -huh. Ya. No. Ah, pues, ahora sí, ahora sí. We should stay together. Excellent. Very good. That sounds better. Very good, Saul. Sí. Thank you. Sí. All right. Let me see. Elsie, number three. We should take a map with us. Uh -huh. We don't want to get lost. Excellent. All right. We should take a map with us. We don't want to get lost. All right, very good. Number four, Magali. Uh, you shouldn't forget to take an umbrella. Mm -hmm. uh, letter E. Mm -hmm. It often rains in London. Perfect, very good, very good. And Werner, number five. Uh, Werner? Mm -hmm. Where should we meet you? Where should we meet you? Uh huh. Um, in front of the monument. Excellent. In front of the monument. Very nice. Okay, let's continue this one here. Let me see if you guys can see it. All right, let's see here. Complete the sentences with should or shouldn't. All right. So we have Tomek and we have Gabi and we have Laura. Try to read the conversation, guys. Uh, and try to fill it in with should or shouldn't. I think we are lost. We, uh -huh, Juan Francisco, what do you think? We should or shouldn't have come this way? Mm. Should and shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Which one makes more sense? <laughs> Están perdidos igual, están perdidos. <laughs> están perdidos igual que ellos. 
All right. <laughs> What do you guys think? Anybody here? Carla, what do you think for that one? Or Noemi? I think we're lost. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't have come this way. Yeah. No, deb no debimos haber tomado este camino, all right? We're lost, all right? And Gabby says, oh no. What, uh, Fabiola, for number two? Oh no, what? What show? Excellent. What should we do? All right, Marcos. Well, we Marcos. Hello, teacher. Here, Marquitos, for number three. Well, we, uh huh. Pero teacher, que estoy como a la primera ahorita. Ah, vaya, vaya, no sé. <laughs> it's okay. Shoulder. Mm -hmm. Edgar, say it again for number three. Uh, well, we shouldn't worry. We shouldn't worry, right? Very good. We shouldn't worry. No deberíamos de preocuparnos. Very good. Number four, I think... All right. Um, Shoot. Let me see, Noemi. I think, number... we, uh -huh. I think we should ask someone for direction. Excellent. I think we should ask someone for directions. All right. Gabby says that's a good idea. Who? Aha, uh -huh, Francisco Javier. Who should? Who should we ask? Who should we ask? All right. And then and Laura says, Tomic. Tomic says, What? All right. And Laura says, You. Uh huh. Elsie. Eh, you sure. Go up on your own. Tú deberías ir solo o tú no uh, deberías ir solo? Shouldn't. Uh -huh, you shouldn't go off <laughs> on your own. And Tomic says, don't worry, all right? And then Laura says, we, aha, uh -huh. Magali? We should stay together. Excellent, we should stay together, all right? Very good, let's continue here. Okay, uh, write sentences, you should and shouldn't. We stay together. For example, we should stay together. For number one, all right, Francisco Javier, can you do number one? With the information, you can say should or shouldn't with a sentence. You should. Okay, read the whole sentence, Francisco Javier. Uh, you should take you should take a map. Yeah, you should take a map. Very good. All right, nice. Thank you. Uh, let me see. Um, Saul, number two. You shouldn't forget to take an umbrella. Excellent. Very nice. Nice. Very good. Werner, what about number three? I should be careful. Excellent. I should be careful. Very good. Marcos, number four. Creo que sería should, teacher. Yes, uh huh. They should Oilea ask for direction. Excellent. They should ask for directions. Very nice. All right. Um, Carla, number five. She shouldn't get angry. Excellent. She shouldn't get angry. Very good. And number six, Elsie. Um, no, no comprendo muy bien, teacher. ¿Cómo se traduce? Eh, gastar todo nuestro dinero. Uh, we shouldn't uh -huh. spend all our money. <laughs> we shouldn't spend all our money. All right. Very nice. Thank you. All right. Now here. Piensen estas. Hagamos nada más tres eh, en lo que nos da el tiempo. You should 
sorry, you should, number one, you should, number two, and you shouldn't, number three. Write three sentences, en este caso solo vamos a hacer tres. Write three sentences giving advice to tourists in El Salvador, all right? Si viene alguien del extranjero, usted le dice, tú deberías o tú no deberías, all right? Piensa en dos positivas, using should, y una negativa using shouldn't, all right? Tienen un minuto para escribir. <laughs> All right. Let's see, Noemi, you should, uh-huh. Noe, your microphone is off. Uh, you should visit Costa del Sol Beach. Excellent, very good. Edgar Alfredo, you should. Uh, you should travel on the coast of El Salvador. Okay, very nice, thank you. All right, Mar uh, Carla Marta, number three. You shouldn't. You shouldn't travel alone. <laughs> That's not a very good idea. Very good, oh. thank you, all right. Um, Fabiola, you should or shouldn't, escoja usted cualquiera. You should go to English. Okay, you very should good. Eat. All right, very good. Saul, what do you have for should or shouldn't? Uh, number one, you mm -hmm. should be carefully, be carefully in this park. Okay. Number two, you, you should visit Catedral. Oh, very nice. Uh, number three, uh -huh. you shouldn't uh, uh, go to a stadium. <laughs> okay. okay, very good, nice. Elsita, what do you have? Shouldn't, shouldn't. You should go to the beach. Mm -hmm. And shouldn't? Um, uh, you shouldn't visit the park at night. Very good, all right, very good. The last two, all right? Marcos, should and shouldn't. Uh, teacher, una consulta. Mm -hmm. es... Por ejemplo, ruinas tiene ruins. ruins. Ah, ok. Ruins, oh, like, y el nombre, el nombre sin, sin ninguna traducción. Ajá. Ok. Entonces sería el number one, you should visit the ruins. ¿Está su mal? Ok, está su mal, ruins, ajá. Uh, creo que la otra sería, you should um, travel now. For yeah. pandemia. I know for the pandemic. All right, very good. You shouldn't trouble now. Very good. Okay. Thank you, guys. I'm going to take the last attendance para dejarlos ir. Very good. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Soy la Noemi Córdoba de Valencia. Present. Eh, Cecilia Yamileto Sorio Alfaro. Candelaria del Tránsito Martínez Cisneros. Edgar Alfredo Mejibar Pineda. Edgar, Edgar. All right. Carla Marta Cano Rivas. Here. Mayra Yasmin Rodriguez Garcia. Sorry, teacher present. Thank you, Edgar. Very good. 
a Marvel Omar Ramírez Vázquez, Fabiola Georgina Silva, Present. Juan Francisco Enríquez González, Present teacher. Elsie Anet de María Ramírez Navarro, Present teacher. Marcos Giovanni Morán Flores, Present teacher. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel, Present teacher. Jennifer Magali Mo Morales Guzmán, Present. Carlos Jonathan García Alvarado, Jorge Antonio Hernández Cruz, Francisco Javier Villatoro Canales. I'm here. Thank you, Mariela de Los Ángeles Alvarado Díaz and Jose Saul González Roque. Present teacher. Thank you guys, very good, thank you Saul. All right, I'll see you all tomorrow. Eh, avance con su tarea número 12 para que no se vaya atrasando. All right, so I'll see you, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful see you night. Tomorrow. Bye guys, good night. Bye, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.